Well, hello guys, welcome back. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, it feels like Loki went out again, so I was taking a seaside vacation all day long today. What I did is I work sea magic and I work my own style of sea magic. It's nothing you're going to work, you know, learn to work in a book or anything, and I don't teach people. It's just what works for me. So I ended up making like a sea bottle that Dionysus nab because he does have sea associations. And I made um, blue sea salt, and I made um, a sort of seawater tincture for, you know, Aphrodite's altar, and that one on there. It's Aphrodite's altar until Poseidon's statue comes in. I don't think Poseidon really cares. His statue will go up above. And his statue shipped, strangely enough. Um, as soon as Hurricane Florence was hitting, his statue shipped, and I'm like, that's... I don't know how to feel about that. And, um, the offering, by the way, of all that delicious uh, beef, that everything was eaten, every scrap was eaten. And we just, we did sea magic all day. And I played, you can find those 10 hour soundscape things of anything now. And I played that. I did watch a little on Florence, but I didn't watch too much because I can't do anything at this point. I don't have the money to send or resources or anything. So I'm, you know, I'm aware of it, and they're my thoughts and prayers, but just sitting there and staring at it all day is not going to help anyone. So, we've just been doing sea magic and balancing the house, and the house feels really relaxed. And it made me realize that even as a little girl, before I knew there were such things as witchcraft books and that, I did my own brand of natural witchcraft, and I did what felt right, and I did what I felt like somebody vague was guiding me to do and no i don't think this was loki everything doesn't have to do with loki much to loki's disappointment um and i just naturally went with what felt right and one thing i always used to guard myself with seashells and like stuff from the sea i always surrounded myself with stuff from the sea then for some reason i got away from it you know um i think i know why i had a friendship that went really really wrong and then like I got rid of everything from the sea. Nothing ever seemed to go like quite right after that, and I always miss the sea and I miss those associations, but I had some stuff to work through before I could kind of like return to it again. And now if I think of that person, I'll just think of drowning them in the ocean and it'll be great. <laughs> um what had happened was I had a um friend, this is turning into a long involved story, I had a friend decades ago. And we met through Victorian magazine, Do Not Judge. And we talked for years, and we wrote letters out longhand on fantasy stationery, and we would write back and forth and talk about the sea and everything else. And, you know, all sorts of stuff. And she would send me mixtapes and gifts for my birthday and all this other stuff. Well, when I very first started studying witchcraft, when I was this little teeny tiny thing, because this is a grown-ass woman writing back and forth with a teenager, kind of a mentor capacity, um, she stopped writing. I wrote two or three more times to see if she had gotten sick, had something happened, could the family please let me know. Uh, no one ever got in contact with me. And I could only assume that as soon as I said the word witchcraft, she wanted nothing more to do with me because she was a nice Christian lady. So that was really, really hard. And for the longest time, for decades, I just did not want anything to do with the sea because I was like, no, uh-uh. So it can take a long time to get over stuff, which is, you know, why I just look at some of these young people today running out around everywhere flaunting being a witch and just shake my head because they you didn't have to go through what my generation had to go through there's no some for some yeah but for a lot of people they're just being obnoxious and loud and no here you have to be careful unless you'd like your house burnt down because they're good christians and that's what they'll do um <laughs> And that's not against Christians. You guys know that. As a Wiccan, I don't care what religion you are, if you aren't any religion at all. It's just, you, some people have to be careful. You can't be crazy amount of out. So, it was really good to, you know, work with them again and to work, you know, my own brand of magic instead of worrying about what some damn book says or what some online thing says or what 
somebody cares about, it was really healing because I can rely on the results of my own magic. I don't need a teacher or 50 books or anything. I mean, read all you can, but at the end of the day, you'll find out how to do your own stuff. And you'll find out it works a lot better because you're not running out buying 5 million things that are rather expensive trying to do this thing that your instincts are telling you you just need this, this, and this. Um, the longer you work witchcraft, the easier and simpler it gets and a lot cheaper. You don't worry about having to buy this stuff online and hope it gets here by whatever, whatever. You just, you do what feels right and as you need it, you use what you have on hand. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.